What's up, y'all? This is Trill 3Ls, Trillion Dollar Men. First, I want to say shout out Corey Got Bars. This is not a controversial video at all. Um, I just had to let y'all know. But um, I just really was looking on his channel, and I came across this video that he had about um, why nobody's talking about this U-Dub card. And I wanted to touch on that subject a little bit, too, because I was just thinking, like, damn, U-Dub got a fire card. And um, a good event that's about to come up, but nobody's really talking about it. Like, they have Arsenal and Loaded Lux. Everybody's been saying they want to see Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying? So why nobody's talking about it, right? But um, what my views started to differ was um, when he was saying that there's not a lot of support from the fans. And that's where I was like, uh, I don't really know if it's that, you know what I'm saying? But um, now, I don't want to get too deep. So, but y'all gonna have to bear with me and just listen for a second. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a reason why we do certain things every day. When you wake up, there's something that you do every day. You know what I'm saying? There's a routine. Us as humans, we're creatures of habit. There's a reason why um, we drink the sunny water over Aquafina. There's a reason why we we would rather rock Jordans and Nike over Reebok and um, New Balance or any other brand. You get what I'm saying? There's a reason for that. There's a psychological and an emotional attachment to everything or pretty much everything that we do. There's reasons like that's the reason why we do a lot of things that we don't even realize that's why we're doing it. You get what I'm saying? And with that being said, I want to say um, Smack URL is synonymous with Battle Rap. When you think of battle rap, you think it's smack. When you, um, URL is the NBA of battle rap. We grew up with smack. Um, we grew up watching the smack DVDs. Everybody and their cousins. I used to watch it with my pops, watch it with my cousins. Every time a new smack DVD came out, we used to go get it because that's something that we had to do. You know what I'm saying? We had to see the... The new, the new battles or who he was going to have next on that DVD. You know what I'm saying? So there's already a psychological and an emotional attachment to that because that's something that we grew up watching. Um, same thing with the NBA. I used to run around the crib as a kid watching my grandma watch all the NBA games. She used to watch the Bulls. She used to watch the Knicks. She used to watch the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? She used to watch all those games. Um, Iverson was my favorite player. My pops used to take me to go see the Sixers games. You get what I'm saying? So already there's a bond that's already being um, formed with a certain league. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why when you see U-Dub and they have a card, like they have Arsenal versus Loaded Lux. They have Charlie Clips versus, um, I can't even think who else. Who Charlie Clips bad on a Rad B or something like that? They have a uh, K Sean versus O Red. K Sean versus O Red. I already know that's gonna be crazy because they both on the killer spree right now. You know what I'm saying? Like they both in a bag right now. You feel what I'm saying? So I already know that's gonna be fire, but nobody's talking about that. Why? Because it's not on Smack. That's just like if LeBron James was to go play on a celebrity basketball game or league or play on another league like summer league or something like that nobody's really gonna care if he's gonna go play at the rucker nobody's gonna care you know what i'm saying it's not gonna be millions of people or thousands of people at that rucker game it's the same thing when fat joe had his league he got good support a good amount of people came out for what it was at the rucker league you know what i'm saying he used to have iverson come through and play on the league you feel what i'm saying but it's like Iverson going to the Rucker is not going to sell a thousand a thousands of tickets like if he was going to go play at a regular Sixers game. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the same thing. There's no attachment to the Rucker like it is to the NBA. You get what I'm saying? So um, that's one reason. Also, is like another example real quick. Um, you might go see a Kendrick Lamar concert. You might want to go see J. Cole concert. You might want to take your girl to go see a Wale concert, right? Now, there's a bunch of local rappers out here that may be better than all three of those rappers that are named. But they're unknown. 
you might not be interested to go see them. You might not, it's not that you don't want to support them, but it's like you might not have as fun um, going to see them. You're not familiar with them. You and your girl can't recite the lyrics of, you know what I'm saying, of this rapper that we don't know, even though they may be better. You feel what I'm saying? They don't have as much as catalog. They didn't put as in as much work. Smack URL, they put in a lot of work. They've been doing this for years, damn near a decade. You get what I'm saying? Um, and this is something that King of the Dot knows. That's why King of the Dot is second because they they are working like crazy and putting out a lot of battles just as much as Smack, maybe more than Smack, just to be in that second place. And um, this is what brings me to my next point. It's not the fans' fault, again, that they don't want to support. It's just that the leagues are not garnering garnering enough interest from the fans. They're not promoting a lot. Um, we see a few trailers from UW, but um, how much promotion do you really see? You get what I'm saying? Now, Smack, he done had this Double Impact 2 card. He had the Ascension card. You know what I'm saying? In June. In July, he got this whole... He got the, um, what's the name card? The, um, the, not the Proven Grounds. Well, he got the Proven Grounds card too. That brings me to my point. But he also has the Born Legacy Supreme. Like how many cards, how many battles and events is he having a year? How many battles and events are King of the Dot having a year? They having a lot of events. You're never going to get, you're never going to forget who they are. We forget about we forget that U Dub exists because how many events do they throw a year? And in the middle of those events, Smack is still dropping battles from events earlier this year. He just dropped this Mike P versus New Jersey Twerk from Gnome Seven. That event was earlier this year, you know what I'm saying? And he's just now dropping it. But when he's dropping his battles, he's promoting events that's going to be happening in a couple months. Like he's he dropping the Gnome Seven battles, right? But in the middle of those battles, and in the middle of dropping those proven ground battles, in the beginning of the video, the middle of the video, and the end of the video, he's letting you know this Born Legacy Supreme is coming out later on this month. And he's also promoting the um, Summer Madness 6 in the middle of those videos too. So it's like, we have no choice but to keep Smack URL in our minds. We f we going to forget about you, Doug. It's not that we don't want to see the U Dub card, it's that we forget about it. Because how many people do he have talking about it? And how many videos and um fire battles that he can put out to promote to promote the next event. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what it is. It's not that we don't want to support. It's just that we don't have the interest in it and we don't have the bond to it. You know what I'm saying? There's a loyalty to smack URL. You know what I'm saying? We remember smack when it was just the smack DVDs. You know what I'm saying? When he used to battle on the corners or in the stores and things like that. It's like the um the WNBA when they first came out. It's not that we didn't want to support the WNBA. But again, we didn't grow up watching the WNBA. Everybody and their mama grew up watching the NBA. You know what I'm saying? As kids, you... When you playing outside and you make a shot, you like Kobe, you know what I'm saying? You like Jordan. Everybody wanted to be Iverson. Everybody now wanted to be LeBron James. When you dunked on somebody and it was an ill dunk, you was like, yo, Vince Carter, you know what I'm saying? Like you equated everything you did to somebody else that was in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, again, like the shotgun sugar versus Hitman Holler. Yeah, that was a that's a battle that we wanted to see. But we didn't want to see that on U Dub. We wanted to see that on um, Smack. You know what I'm saying? Like if Mook comes back. If he comes back on U Dub, now people, that's going to garner a lot of interest, right? But it's still not going to be the same if it's on Smack. Again, if LeBron James and a whole bunch of other players go battle, I mean, not go battle, but go play for another league for a couple months. Come on, who's gonna watch that? That's still gonna get a you know a couple thousand supporters or whatever, but it's not gonna be a sold out arena like if it was in the NBA. That's because Smack URL has already put in the work. They already gained the respect 
and they put in enough work to um they gain their position. It can only be one top position. You feel what I'm saying? U Dub has like a hundred thousand subscribers. Smack has like six hundred thousand. So almost 700,000 subscribers, you feel what I'm saying? There's always going to be a top league. Everybody cannot be the top. And so I don't think there's any wrong, anything wrong with competition. Um, like, competition is good. But just because somebody doesn't support something doesn't mean that they're hating. It just maybe they don't have an interest on what's going on over here. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that bond. They don't have that psychological or emotional attachment again. But that's just that's just my thoughts on it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, again, URL set the tone on what battle rap is today. URL is synonymous with battle rap. But um, let me know what y'all think. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Comment, subscribe. Again, Trill 3L's Trillion Dollar Men. Peace.